Hey boys, welcome back to some more spin bowling career mode where we have progressed into I think this is the uh, The grand final as it would be. I think it's the final. They do just say knockout I sort of wish they would just sort of differentiate a little bit. I sort of I should have looked at like the the standings or the the fixtures to know for sure, but I sort of just forgot all about it so I'm pretty confident this is, so it's a big game, obviously taking on a South Australia, who we have versed, I, I don't know, we have versed South Australia just an incredible amount of times in the first class and the the 50 over comms, I don't know what it is, just the the standings or the the fixtures, it just worked out that way, we versed them a couple of times in the uh, in the latter stages of the, of the Matador Cup here, but you know, it's good stuff. We're gonna get to uh, to have a bat first up. Look to put on a uh, a decent stand as we come out there. Average of 32, the 150, high score of 66, and uh, you know, not too bad. The average isn't isn't the worst. We obviously would like to improve it, but still very early on in the career. We just look to block that one. <laughs> Looking to get a cheeky signal uh, single, but. Luckily, we turned him back. We we might have made it. Honestly, the bowler was very slow to react, but I think it was a safe decision not to run that, especially being a 3 for 57, only into the 8th over. Like, the run rate the run rate is fine, but the wickets, the wickets are looking a little worrisome here. Richardson bowling very nicely here. Two wickets for 15. That one, we just flick away off the pads. Boy, oh boy, that's a that's a good shot. Usually, honestly, like I can never usually play these type of shots off the front foot. Usually, every time the ball is like that sort of length, he always tries this like front foot pull shot type thing. Even when it's not a short ball, I don't know if you guys have that issue, but it always seems to happen. I don't know. It's probably because the uh, the ball isn't full enough for the for the glance. But I sort of just feel like if you play it off the front foot, you should do a glance shot, even if it's not that full. Like. If it's too short and you you miscue it, then that's how the game should be. It shouldn't it shouldn't like adjust your shots. I don't think it like it, it doesn't adjust your shot, but it's just sort of the animation for it. I don't know, but we're going along quite nicely actually. Another beautiful pull shot this time. Richardson trying to get it up above the badge there, but uh, that's our that's our bread and butter. Honestly, we do love them short, and I will continue to <laughs> to play the short ball like that. So move on to 15. A couple of nice fours. Uh, Renshaw going along nicely as well, 20, and uh, we try to charge, just work it to the leg side, but it swung away quite a bit in the air, so, you know, trying to get to the pitch of it, probably not the, the best shot, as uh, Grant coming in, only 110Ks, pretty much facing like a, a spin-up, honestly, just bowling a few a few quicker ones, 100, 110Ks, there's nothing, and uh, that's sort of the motto, I was trying to trying to play against these guys, you know, you've got a couple of guys in this South Australian team, you got Grant, you got... Uh, Sayers, who just bowl incredibly slow, you've really got to change your timing up, it, it can get you a little bit, because Richardson can come in, bowl it pretty quick, but then you got these two guys, Sayers and Grant, that one looks so close, I thought this was out, the umpire is going to give us the benefit of the doubt, it might have been, I might have got a little edge, it might have been a touch, or they might have just hit us outside the line off stump, it might have saved us there, uh, but another one I forgot actually is uh, Pattinson, the other, the other quick in this uh, South Australian side, who uh, can crank it up quite quick as well. So, you know, got a little bit of a little bit of work to do here. That's another good shot, just flicking it over the leg side. But uh, the partnership coming along quite nicely. We do hit above a hundred here, so you know we're not going to get bundled out for two, uh, two nothing here. But that is a that is a belting shot. We charge him, pull it away, 87 meter six. Not the biggest I've hit, but uh, quite a decent shot. 50 run partnership of 45 balls. A uh, a very good, a very good solid solid partnership here. After losing some three quick wickets, you know, just consolidating, also scoring quickly, you know, consolidating, but also putting the pressure back on the uh, the breadbacks here. As he looks to go around the wicket, I flicked that one off the pads. <laughs> There's a man right there. There's no one behind him. Obviously, if we just got a little bit more power. Just place it a little better. We could have got some decent runs, but this time we get so lucky. We get so lucky. We charge him, trying to do the same, same sort of shot we hit for six, but just the lack of pace sort of got us. And he dropped it. I couldn't believe he dropped it. Uh, <laughs> Grant, though, 
This time we're going to play it along the ground, a little bit more safe. Not going to get caught with those ones, just playing it nicely. But 1 for 69 into his 8th over. Grant is just getting torn apart here by the padding. He has picked up a wicket once again, just using the feet. This game, I don't know, this game I just felt like felt like an, uh, being a being attacking, being in an aggressive mood. Obviously, you know, 47 off 35, it's not it's not ridiculous. We have definitely played played the good ball on their merits, but anything really short, I was definitely attacking. And right there, like I said, just using using these guys as sort of sort of the quickest spinners. There's our 50 off 36 balls. Very good strike rate. And a nice way to bring it up. Just yeah, uh, sort of sort of my favorite shot in this uh in this career mode so far. Just going inside out over over wide mid off. I'm not gonna say over cover because it's not really a cover drive in this game, but over that wide mid off there. So move on to 53. Renshaw is on 44. This has been an excellent, excellent partnership. We sweep that one very fine. It's actually not a bad shot. We played it from like outside off. Usually usually those ones outside off, you just cannot hit the sweep shot too. I mean, maybe you can if your stats are a bit better, but so far in my career, I've had a lot of trouble with it. As uh, it was this Grant coming back in, almost is over is done, but this time he's gonna he's gonna drop us again. It was definitely a tougher shot. We're gonna pick up a couple there, and uh, Grant being a little unlucky that time though. We move on to 60. Like, geez, two drop chances. Hopefully we can you know go on to make a uh, a very big score. This time we're going to take it down the ground, hit it for six, and that's a hundred run partnership. It's it's come a come along very quickly, and we put ourselves into a a fairly commanding position as a uh, a dog is fucking barking in the background. Hopefully you guys can't hear that, but uh, <laughs> we kind of get out to the spin of Adam Zampa. We just took him over his head for six, but just a little bit of grip on this one. Just tried the big drive, and uh, it's going to take a thick edge. I don't know what this. Like, I felt hard done by, because what is his fielding position? He's, like, in a sort of a gully, I guess. It's it's a weird position. He's taken a screamer. I felt pretty hard done by, but, you know, that's how the game is. You can get those sort of edges, and the edges are probably... Get, getting caught behind and getting edged to the slips is probably the biggest way I get out in this game, and I actually like that. You know, it's, it's probably a bit more realistic, you know, edging, you know, going for those big drives. You're going to edge it occasionally, uh, but coming here... Redbacks struggling a little bit, six for one ninety. You know they've, they've held me back in the game. Obviously, you know the pace bowlers have done their job, so haven't really needed me as of yet. But we do get a chance to bowl to the tail. Alex Ross is obviously the man we'd like to get. Look at this field. Say is two of eighteen. We're putting the stranglehold on him. <laughs> he's he's feeling all sorts of pressure. I would usually change this field, but I sort of I, I would leave it for Sayers at that moment. I thought you know what. We could get a sneaky wicket, uh, but Alex Ross, a good shot there off the pads. He's going to hit it to four. Eventually going to trickle over. And, uh, yeah, he's playing quite nicely. He's holding this, uh, holding the innings together as we look to look to pick him up. It'd be a great wicket if we could. If we get him out, the game is definitely ours. But if he stays in, bats around with the tail, he can just do stuff like that. So he moves on to 49, looking to pick up his half century. He's chipped his one. I thought he was going to pick out the fielder, but he is going to pick up his uh, his half century off uh, pretty quick. 46 balls. He's playing playing very nicely. So that is definitely the big wicket. Chad Sayers is struggling all sorts here. Four of 27. <laughs> we pick him up. An absolute beautiful deliver. Honestly, it, was, it wasn't even that good a ball. Like he's played completely around it. It it spun a little bit, but he played inside of it. He cleaned him up. I mean, it looked like a nice ball. It's just uh, poor old Chad Sayers. Didn't really have an answer for any of the bowlers in this match. It strains up just enough to miss the bat, but not too much to uh, to find it, I guess. And uh, we pick up our first wicket. Only into our second over. We've been hit around a little bit by Alex Ross, but, you know, a, uh, a fairly important wicket. You know, we do want to, obviously, if uh, we pick up the rest of the wickets and Alex Ross can't get a chance to win the game for them, and uh, that's uh, that's what we would like to do. As we get to bowl to Kane Richardson, new to the crease, obviously. Chips that one. Going to the fielder, it's not going to carry. Not going to carry. Just didn't get all of it. And uh, gets away with that one. As they move on, the partnership is, you know, not looking too dangerous. That one is hit up into the air. 
the man almost takes a uh, a very good catch. It would have been a tough one. That's sort of the, the position I got out on. The dude, I think it was Panson, caught a nice one. But this time, it's going to be... Who was that man in there? The big, fast bowler, I think. Peter George takes a screamer. He dropped the one just before, but this was a beauty. It's actually deja vu. This is pretty much how I got out in my... <laughs> In my innings, the dude was pretty much the same spot and takes a very nice catch. Lodo is right there. That brings out Adam Zampa to the crease, apparently averaging 23. So he's uh, a bit of a danger man in this career mode, apparently, even though he's fairly trash in real life with the bat. Uh, but we do have this game pretty much wrapped up, you would think. It would take a bit of a miracle for the Redbacks to, uh, to get away with the win. Actually... I do find this a little annoying. I just wish they would show, like, how many runs they need to... Here we go. Finally, it shows there for a second. 46 off the last over here. And uh, that is going to be definitely the match for us. I just wish it would show, like, how many runs they need just more consistently. Um, but there we go. Usman Khawaja holding up the trophy. It's actually, you know, I actually... This is the first time I've seen any sort of, like, celebrations like that. So it's pretty nice. You know, all the player models look good and stuff like that. Uh, but Renshaw, man, the match, 139 not out. He pushed our target to 289. Very good innings. We got 66. And, uh, but it was Renshaw's show, honestly. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.